And the gospel reading today is these people come and ask our Lord, as man asks our Lord, what's the greatest commandment in the law? Our Lord replies that uh, to love the Lord our God with our whole heart and soul and strength, to love our neighbor as ourself. Now we've all heard that over and over and over and over and over again. And let's admit it, it kind of goes in one ear and out the other. In fact, if we really are honest, we would have to say, you know what? I really like the prophets, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, but I'm really like Jonah. What a tragedy. We're really like Jonah. Why would I say that? Well, if we're going to say that we're going to love the Lord, first thing that that means is we have to be want, we want to do his will. Now, Jonah claimed that that's what he wanted to do until God told him what his will was. Because most of us, again, let's be honest, we want to do God's will as long as God wants, to, wants me to do what I want to do anyway. Oh boy, he wants me to do that. Sure, I'll do the will of God. What happens when God tells us to do something we didn't want to do? Yeah. And so here's Jonah hopping on a boat to go to Tarshish. There actually isn't a place called Tarshish. It just implies the other side of the world, as far away as you can get. And that's the point that was made. He was going away from the Lord, giving him lip service the whole time, even to the point where he says, look, I'm a Hebrew, I worship God. Well, really? Yeah. That's why they're in the predicament that they're in. Because he's giving lip service to God, but his heart is far from him. And so we look at that, and then we ask ourselves the same question that was asked in the gospel. Who is my neighbor? Jonah was being sent to a place that was pagan. He wasn't being sent to the Israelites. He was being sent to pagans because God wanted to save their souls. Jonah didn't like the idea. Now it's interesting when you look a little further that even though Jonah is being pretty pathetic in the way that he's dealing with things, we know that when he actually got spewed out on the shore and went back and did what God wanted him to do, not exactly happily as we know, and not really willfully either, but nonetheless he finally did it. The people of Nineveh believed and they repented. And what happened when God sent the prophets to Israel? The people didn't believe, the people didn't repent. What's happening now in God's church? People don't believe, they don't repent. We just want to do what we want to do. And we want to give lip service to God. We want him to be in our life, but we don't want him to be the center of our life. We want to say that we want to do the will of God, but let's be honest, we really want to do our own will, and we don't really want to do what God wants, except, as I said earlier, when God wants what we want anyway. And somehow we think that God's will ought to change, which it can't, but it should change to be able to be the same as mine. Because after all, I only want what's best. I only want what's perfect. Yeah, right. Look at all the perfect things we've done in our lives. We keep winding up in the confessional because we only wanted what was the best. Right. So the greatest commandment in the law, love God. Love neighbor, how we doing? If you're like me, not very well on either count. This is what we're being asked to do right now. And we're going to be asked to do a whole lot more as we see what's going on now in the Middle East. This is just the beginning, just the beginning. You can expect a whole lot more 
And you can expect that there are going to be some things that are going to happen here too. It's one thing to look at what's going on halfway across the world and say, what a tragedy. But it really doesn't affect us a whole lot. It's going to. And the question is, are we going to love God? Are we going to love neighbor? Are we going to unite and help one another as we go through these horrible things that are coming? Or are we going to be selfish and say, oh, no, 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 I'm not going to share any food with you. No, I'm not going to give you anything to keep you warm. No, I'm not going to help because this is mine. That's what we're all going to be faced with. And what are we going to do? Do we really have a love for God and love for neighbor? Are we really intent on doing the will of God? Because like Jonah, most of us are really good at finding a ship for Tarshish, hopping on it and running away from the Lord. God is really good at sending a big fish to be able to grab us, bring us back, and spew us out. Thanks be to his mercy that he gives us more than one opportunity. Just as we see with Jonah, yeah, gave him the opportunity after the fish spewed him out, and he gave him a couple of more opportunities as well. So he does with us too. So maybe we've failed, Maybe we've looked for Tarshish. Maybe we've been selfish. Maybe we haven't truly loved the people in the, around us because of whatever reason. But God's going to give us more opportunities. And when humanity continually rejects God, he's going to bring us to the point, to the breaking point. That's where we're headed. So brace yourself, because it's gonna get a little interesting. What you see happening right now, like I said, is just the beginning. Every one of us is going to have an opportunity to look at that commandment, those two commandments, and ask ourselves how serious we are about it. Do I truly love God with my whole heart and soul and strength? Will I trust him? Do I really want to do his will? Am I really focused on serving him? Am I willing to do whatever it is that he is going to ask me to do? Because what he's going to ask us to do is to love the souls around us, to love our neighbor. And do we really have that kind of charity for others that we only want to do what's best for them and out of love for God to serve the people around us?